morning guys Teddy here and welcome back to my channel i'm tired and sleepy okay i'm also sleepy i'm not tired i just woke up and i'm like i had the craziest dream i don't know if you, i should clarify it's a dream or a nightmare like i was fighting with someone who was trying to kill me and my family like so basically here's the short version because i feel like this is like something you remember for a short amount of time and like if you don't know it or someone you forget it so this is what i read actually somewhere that if you have dreams as soon as you wake up write them down somewhere so you don't forget them of course they don't do that but basically i don't know we were moving out or somewhere like i don't know exactly what was happening and then this guy appeared is a clone a clone of michael like literally exactly the same thing with the fact that he wants to kill us for some reason i don't know why and how my brain invented such a thing anyways as soon as he walked in i was noticing something different like this is not michael okay it's not him it's someone else but not him like there is a difference you know and i don't know he was everyone somehow managed to escape i left because i forgot to take something anyways and now what should i do i managed to get to the elevator got to the fifth floor so i guess the elevator is the same building as where my apartment is like where I live in my hometown. Anyways, I slightly left the door of the elevator open because that way nobody will be able to push the button because nothing will happen if the door is not closed. Okay, but then I just closed it because I saw people coming to the telephone and I closed and then someone pushed the button. I was like, oh my gosh. But they waited, but I guess they didn't want to wait that much because from fifth to the first floor, well, it takes some time. So... I managed to escape. Then he tried to attack my dad or someone. I don't, it's still blurry. I just don't remember why this is happening. And then somehow, I punched this guy. That's for sure. Then he turned into a white bird. That's the, I, I, I don't know. It's just so weird. And then I remember I grabbed this bird and smashed it down on the floor. Like, I, Genuinely, I don't know why this is a thing, why it happens, or I just... I'll never kill anyone in real life, but I just don't understand why this is happening. And why I'm trying, why I'm getting upset for this. It's a stupid dream, but I definitely will Google it. Mostly because, like, I don't know why it's a thing, but, anyways, I'm not make sure. I'm gonna go and get ready, and then I will um, come back at you. I'm fully dressed up ready and I googled some stuff. So I found this website, it's called sarahscoop.com. Basically, it's a white bird dream meeting. And there were some interesting, usually, you know, it's like freedom, purity, you know. In literature, this is what we were taught in high school, like the meaning of a white bird in different poems or let's say things that authors have made and they have used the white bird as a symbol. So I'm gonna quickly read you. You can find this website, or they were like 25 meanings. So peace and tranquility. Like these are stuff that makes sense, but I don't think it makes sense for the dream. So here is one of the things that I actually found: freedom and liberation. So basically, as you can believe that I did that, I grabbed the bird by the tail and smacked it down. So maybe because this person, the clone, were I don't even know what it was. Anyways. Maybe because this person was the bad guy, I'm gonna say it like this. And when I when he transformed to a bird and I smacked it down, I freed everybody else from him. So we won't die. It's, uh, I don't know. So many things, like symbol of purity, definitely not. It is true, but I don't think it's in my case. So the next thing, overcoming difficulties. I had no idea that this was a thing, but see, like, I got removed of the obstacle. It's... It feels so wrong saying it like this. I don't know, I'm just... End of struggles message. I didn't write every all the things, signs that were here, but it's just insane. Like, this with the white bird. So, I'm gonna check what's about someone chasing you or you killing someone. or I don't even know if that's a proper message in dreams that I'm gonna come back at you. I could have identity specifically because I searched, like, killing someone who transformed into an animal dream meaning but you kind of get confused because you keep giving me things about dreaming with animals or killing an animal in your dream and this is 
yet true but not exactly so i searched like just killing someone even though it's not exactly what happened but anyways and it says that if you're murdering someone in your dream you're probably actively working to change or end something negative in your real life if you've recently quit smoking initialized a breakup or a divorce or if you change eating habits and have started to lose weight then you're likely to dream of murder um neither of this is happening i do not smoke neither have quit it because i never started in the first place I never dated anyone so I can have a breakup or a divorce, you know. Neither have changed my habits. I eat as usual and maybe too much, if you ask me, because I don't go outside to walk and then all this weight kind of stays in me. But anyways, that's a issue for another day. But I mean, I, I don't know. So analyze your dreams. It kind of helps you get interested like I did personally, because first of all, never happens something like this. And I'm just curious, like, why the white bird? I'm pretty sure the color of the bird means more than, like, I can imagine. And the fact that this person, what? Maybe he changed, and that's why he transformed into a white bird, because he changed his behavior or something. Like, I, I want to stop talking about this, because I'm getting confused. Probably you too. And I don't want to keep talking the dialogue about this weird dream. It's just, like, interesting, but yes. Comment down below if you ever had any weird dream or a dream that woke up your interest to dig in and find out what it means because I would like to hear from you. I finished with the current chapter and now I'm going to continue with my notes. I have showed you notes before that I was taking for the final exam that I need to graduate. So here now my notes are for something different like someone uploaded materials for which we should study about this exam. And I found out that the only subjects that you need are from the first and from the second year that is because Back then, like, you have to sign up for every single class that was on the list you can choose. And from the third year, you start choosing, you need a certain amount of credits. You can sign up for every single class just to, for example, make up for the credits that you didn't have from previous courses. This is not how it works. So, uh, let's say that everybody chooses different classes. Like, of course, I will have similar classes with some of my classmates, but not everyone will have the same classes. And I believe that they don't want to make, like personalized exam for every single student and this is why they picked out to be from the subjects which all of us have because that way no one's speaking and everybody was supposed to be in these classes were they or not that is something different and another thing is that you have to write for two questions each question is at least three pages so basically six pages for both the first one is obligation or the second one you choose if you want to write it or not but if you don't write it you get zero points which means that your grade will be lower because you didn't wrote absolutely anything here. And this is why I will write on the second one, because even if I don't get maximum points, at least I will get some points and they might help me cover up for something else if I have messed up on the practical term, for example, let's say that I have messed up with some of my math problems or whatever I had to solve. So this is what it looks like. Now, I definitely can write on a white piece of paper. Look, it, it's horrible. But at least it's readable. Also, like, I don't know what type of paper I will get. But if you get one of these squared papers or something, usually they're like these lines are not for writing. The same goes at the bottom. So basically all this will go down. But anyways, I'm doing fine. I have to say that ChatGPT for sometimes helps because instead of searching online in different websites, you just summarize me what I want. And this is how I have it writing for the third question because I'm on number three out of 15. Yes, I have a lot to work on i have lectures and pretty much i'll copy from there because i want something to be summarized so i can memorize it like there currently i'm only on the writing part i will start learning them when everything is on because i feel like if i write learn write learn it will take me just way too much time and i prefer to settle everything down write down everything and then to start studying so I rolled a page and a half, and someone will say like for that much time, more than an hour, only a page and a half, but I read before I write AK, I don't write absolutely everything that's on my lecture, so I just take a bit of information, because if I write everything, like a week won't be enough. Also, like I have as minimum three pages, but no one said that I have to write ten. You know, I feel like three to four pages is more than enough for the certain topic to write, and currently I'm making lunch. If you have guests, 
you're probably correct so i'm eating pasta yes like i eat spaghetti like all the time i just have cravings for spaghetti like on a daily basis i know i know i shouldn't like you should eat something different not the same food every single day but i really want to eat this and nobody cares it's still food i'm eating i'm not starving so technically why do you care what i eat probably you don't but let's just pretend that you did, so I have to say this. But anyways, I'm gonna see you after lunch. I plan to go out, will we do it or not? We're gonna find out. It's so sunny outside, like, dude, yes, there are so many cars. Like, now I can see something, but look at what's behind me, though. Like, oh, this thing, like, I know I have shown it 10,000 times, but it's just... I will say it like this, so aesthetically pleasing. Yes, I said this before, but it's just so cool. In the end, I decided to go out, so the weather is very nice from this side. It's so sunny, like springtime. From the other one, I don't know if you can see this, it feels like it will start raining soon. So, <laughs> and the sun is going down. Oh no, I don't know if it will rain or not. Hopefully, not until I come back because I don't have an umbrella. I have already explained my situation with umbrellas. I don't like them, and that's why I don't wear them. Sometimes I have. And people like, it's a miracle you wear an umbrella. Like, yes, because I needed an umbrella. But it's very, very rare occasions because if it rains hardly, I'm not go even gonna go out. But that's a big problem. I'm going to a store. Usually we get like list leaves or whatever it is, the brochures, whatever it's called, with all the discounts. We didn't see this, I'm gonna go grab one. And I'm gonna see you in the store. Bye! I'm in the store and even if I said I'm not gonna buy anything, I'm just gonna browse, I still have some things because they were on discount, okay? Don't blame me. So I have sugar because we are low in stock on sugar and let's just say that oh, I made a cake in the last vlog, if you saw it. So I need some, I have ketchup because we're also low in stock, it's spaghetti like every two to three days. I just love them, okay? Don't judge me. And then something sweet and oh, okay, I have this thing. It's a heat protection spray, I don't know if you can see it, but it's so good, like, I got it for 10 bucks because I was the only one in the store that I saw back then, it was from a different store, now it's on $8.99. I haven't used it in a while because I used one 12 in one leave-in mask, which also works as a heat protection spray, but if you're looking for one, this one is good. Yeah, like, anything by Schwarzkopf, I think, I have used their shampoos, they're also good, so it depends what you're looking for, it's so freaking hot inside, but I don't know if I'm gonna get something else, Pro I don't need it, but I feel like, you know, I'm only with 30 bucks, you know, so I don't have much to spend. I don't want to spend that much, but we're gonna see. So I'm gonna check to see if there's something else on discount, and hopefully I'm gonna get out soon because it's freaking hot inside. And hopefully it's not raining because I don't have an umbrella. Yeah, so see you later. I never thought that I would say it, but honestly, I'm happy that I'm outside again. Like, it's... The rain is, like, not showing up. It was supposed to be raining, like, you saw the clouds. Now they're gone, except for the wind. It's so sunny, it's so nice. It's literally springtime. And I'm sweating in this jacket. And I have only a shirt underneath, like, it's just crazy, but I'm getting tired. I need to walk more often because my activity are like, it's slim to zero. I barely go outside to do something, so uh, yeah. <laughs> One thing. I just need to start, maybe not working out, but at least walking more often, but we'll see how this is gonna happen, so right now I'm going home. Guys, I found a cute cat, but she's trying to bite me. <laughs> Why are you trying to bite me? Hey, no, don't do that. And she made my, look at this, all the stains. Where are you going? Look at it. She's just trying to bite me. Dude, don't do that. No, I don't know where you, you have been. I have to wash my hands after. Touch. <laughs> But she's is so cute, look at this, oh my gosh. Hi, don't bite. Can you like, what? You see? She's... She's trying to bite me, oh my gosh. This thing is so cute, hi. Oh my gosh, hi. I'm back home with a haul. Yes, I didn't spend that much, I spent like $14. Total on discount, obviously. Also, I have an online card on my phone, which also gets more discounts and that's the point i was honestly going to see if they have some pamphlets brochures whatever you call this thing but they were zero like yes i checked online what they have like on discount and stuff but i wish i had it in paper you know but 
I don't know, usually they leave Sunday in the P.O. boxes that we have with the front door, but nothing. Anyways, you probably saw this on the thumbnail, but of course I got Milka. We get this only when our discount, and this is my favorite like flavor from Milka. It's whole hazelnuts. I can try different chocolates from Milka, but this is the only one that I eat surprisingly like it's just like i hate the others but let's just say that they don't taste as good as this one we have my amazing wallet which kind of got empty how much i spent exactly it's 14 dollars and nine cents i got spaghetti i told you i got pasta these feel a little bit thicker though maybe i got a bit more i i don't know I told you that we got sugar. It's not a Morocco, but well, we got these for me and my dad. It's a less Malkis, milky one, another one, and I got ketchup. I told you our ketchup was almost any. We have a big bottle of ketchup, which is like a liter, so I think I will just transfer this ketchup to the other bottle. And I will just throw this one away. I don't know, we're gonna see. And I got these candies. These are for technically for your throat. If, for example, you have trouble, you're sick, you can chew one of these. These are, I believe, with mint. Yeah. And so much more ingredients. Like, But yeah, these are good. And they were 99 cents. So uh, shut up. And that's it. Like, for $14, what do you expect me to get? Also, I wasn't going to buy something like I have a list. I was just browsing and see if I like something, get it. You know, all the stuff that we usually eat. We do have sugar at home. But, first of all, it's on discount. Second of all, as I already said, like, I have cooked a little bit. Like, for a cake, I used only two teas. Te yeah, teacups, to be exact. But, uh, yeah, we use it time to time and we buy it on a discount because it's expensive so uh, it's not a bad purchase so here is the paper that i finished and it's still only for two things like i have like five more at the top i write always a topic so i don't keep looking at my laptop what i have to write next but yeah of course if you're writing on a different piece of paper like you're not gonna write like so tight if i can call it like this i don't know it's just me but i'm surprised like for two things how many things i wrote actually so uh, yeah i still have like five more i will call them like subtopics to cover until i capture the whole thing so these definitely will be at least three pages i don't know how i'm gonna cover everything will i remember everything when i start studying uh probably not i might omit something like to forget but anyways the main topics should be here and usually when i study i feel like i would just divide this like for three key points from each thing and I believe that I will remember everything else while I start, like, revising and everything. But, yeah, later I have a lecture from 6 to 7.30 p.m. This time I did not forget about it because last week I almost did. Like, yeah, I, um, I have my schedule on my laptop, okay? The website where, like, my courses are. I just sometimes forget about these. But, anyways, this is, like, practically what I will do today, yeah. Going out was not like initial plan, but I decided to do it and also catch up some air. Is that even a thing? Anyways, just to be outside, you know, the nature. And yeah, it was just sunny. So no signs of rain as of here, which is a good thing though. But later, yeah, probably dad and I will have dinner. Yeah, mom went to some courses, you know, she'll be back. Don't worry. It's not like you care, but just to say it. Anyways, I will have dinner. I don't know. I might watch one TV show later. I missed last season, it's for impersonations. I don't know what's the original name of the show, like which country started it, but basically you have to imitate uh, someone, like a singer. It, it could be a male, a female, a group, no matter a boy band, girl band, whatever. Not only like vocally, but also like you have to look like this person and the person who does it the best wins. Probably you can watch such a show, I just don't know where it came from, but anyways, this will be the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video, share it with friends, subscribe to this channel. It really will help me grow out and know your opinions. Like, what do you like about it? So comment down below something about this vlog, like, or something that made you interest in watching me, or just like something nice. Comment down below. And yeah, subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm gonna see you next time.